All those in favor, please say aye. 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 So it's unanimous. It's 5-0. We now turn. The California Public Utilities Commission voted 5 to nothing against the power purchase request. SDG&E is asking to buy power from two yet-to-be-built facilities and one refurbished natural gas fueled peaker plant. The Quail Brush Project near Mission Trails Regional Park has become a rallying cry for people supporting alternative power. I am going to tell you not to build P.O. Pico. I'm going to tell you not to build the Quail Brush plant. I'm also going to tell you that you never should start San Onofre again. That's true. But again, those reasons are not why I'm here today. I'm here today to tell you that fossil fuel power plants are now the alternative. Hugh Warren says the real power generators the panel should be discussing are solar, wind, and geothermal. While the opposition dominated the public comment period, there were supporters. Former state lawmaker Denise Moreno Duchaney argued for the P.O. Pico plant in Otay Mesa. Depending on power coming from Texas, Arizona, Utah, uh, a lot of that is problematic. And having a couple of paper plants to support the solar um, could be useful. We the commissioners left open the possibility that the projects could come back in front of regulators in a couple of years. Commissioner Mike Florio says there is a need for locally generated power. San Diego has a tremendous record with supporting solar energy and adopting solar energy, and we strongly support that. But every day, whether we like it or not, the sun sets and the production of uh, photovoltaic electricity drops off. Florio challenged the San Diego region to come up with alternatives before the aging Encina power plant needs to be replaced. Eric Anderson, KPBS News.